Alright guys, Final Fantasy VIII, welcome to part two. There's one gold ball going outside, there we go. We are starting our first seed mission, even though we're only seed candidates so far. Probably take their advice and equip the GF here. Oh, uh, you know what? I'll just switch. There we go. Can I junction him? Oh, I could too if I wanted. Do I want to? Nah. Screw him. It's pretty cool you get to play your cypher for a bit. I really shouldn't be spoiling anybody by saying that he doesn't stick around for very long. I'm gonna save just cuz. Love the music in this game too. More so all the battle themes, but Uh, a couple things I mentioned in the first video I'll just go over again. I'm not going to be standing here drawing magic like mad. I'll wait till kind of points in between videos where I can just kind of wander around and almost grind it out a little bit. And, you know, absorb some magic like that. You know, 
with the exception of bosses. I think I used the example of Odin last video. He'll be a guy that I just sit there and just draw from until either I've got everything I want or I've got like two minutes left in the battle. Oh. Well, that was quick. That was the only other enemy I actually had to find here. jerk. Loving how impatient he is. Both of them, actually. Holy crap, it's a lot of soldiers.
I love the little jabs they send at each other. Mostly in the beginning of the game here, but still, it's pretty entertaining. Oh crap. I hate when I get caught not paying attention. I have to hit that damn R1 button. I think I, once I learn their first junctions there, I'll go back to, uh, or I'll start learning some refining stuff. I was a little spoiled uh, getting to play Legend of Dragoon as one of my first RPGs, and given that this is a PlayStation era game still as well, it's kind of upsetting that they don't have this, but I definitely miss being able to uh, change the camera angles. Granted, in Legend of Dragoon, you did have additions to hit, and if you were at a shitty angle, you didn't have a chance. Actually, I always found that trying to attack from behind the enemy was always the worst way to do it.
God, this guy's got a lot of HP going for him right now. Cypher didn't get the last hit. Is this guy still alive? Yep. Yeah. Cool. Another kind of interesting thing about this game, obviously we're not there yet, but we will get there eventually, is uh, because the party frequently splits off into two groups of three, you actually end up using all the characters. And luckily for us, the junction system means that you can have like a level 12. still have him at a strength of over like a hundred and it wouldn't even matter. Love the wink at the end, like she's trying to play it off, like, oh, it's all cool, no big deal. jump off the cliff everybody else has there we go wasn't that big of a cliff okay so it looks like that's it for cypher GF item draw again. And 
you know what? Let's actually switch these two. There we go. Very stereotypical, I know, but we'll give... Uh, we have our female here, the magic. She can kind of do her magic thing. battles in here. that I really should be getting a game over at this point, but... How did Cypher get behind us? He went up on the lift first. That was weird.
Nice, this, got a, this guy's got a bit of a counterattack. I've got the whole compatibility thing for the Guardian Forces, which is why I left uh, Shava with uh, Sharby because I used her three or four times already, and I think every time you use her, you gain a little more compatibility. So it'll trigger the summon itself quite a bit quicker. Now we're talking. Draw a siren. That actually worked too. Did not think that would work. See, on the other hand, I kind of feel... See, I'm thinking to myself, like, I would probably sit here and draw double for a while, right? Because draws a pretty good, uh, or doubles a pretty good uh, magic to attach to a lot of different stats. I think to myself how I probably would have sat here for a bit and actually done it, and I like, collected a hundred just so I could have it to like fully attached to at least one of my characters. But at the same time, I'm kind of thinking right now how much better this is that I'm not doing this. Oh, not paying attention again.
really got to start paying attention to when I'm attacking. It's like the third one this fight that I've missed already. is super good in this game. using this guy quite a bit too, so... Oh my goodness, is that ever loud? Okay, let's go and... There we go, let's try and change that a little bit. I did get it. I didn't think I did. There we go. I just wasted a lot of AP because I'm pretty sure those skills were like four away. <laughs> Whoopsies.
has no magic anyways. Okay. Great. Let's head on down. So I'm pretty sure half an hour is more than enough time. It better be actually, because I don't have that much time on uh, this video. Well, on the off chance this does take too long, I'll, uh... Well, actually, I guess in hindsight, you'll actually be watching this in part three if this video takes too long. Kind of debating if I really actually want to go through battling with this guy. Oh good, he's already dead. I hate doing this kind of stuff when I'm on a time limit, but I'm going to have to enter this uh, here and change some of my Guardian Force stuff. That's the one crappy thing is it doesn't carry uh, AP over, so if you learn an ability, it's kind of like... Uh, go there so like if I went 10 over like I pretty sure I just did for my first two guardian forces there um, yeah you don't get to keep that 10 I think I'm going to do something incredibly stupid. Heal these two up and then I'm actually going to uh, leave Squall and wait for... Or 
I shouldn't say wait for, but I should say see if I can uh, trigger. His limb break because that could do a fair amount of damage. Ooh, that got super lucky. Another uh, one of the soundtracks that I really enjoy. Uh, that third hit there caught me off guard. Or fourth hit, I think it was, whichever one I missed. Uh, might as well go for another one then. The uh, Lightning Guardian Force can hit. And we can get the hell out of here. There we go. Thunderstorm. I really do wish that uh, this wasn't as loud as it is. But then again, I suppose you can't win them all. Okay, that should be more than enough. There we go. It doesn't look like any of uh, this mech's attacks can do enough damage to kill Squall one more with a single hit, but... to hoping. Oh, I definitely gonna need to heal now. That was a good call. Ray Bomb definitely would have done me. So I'm pretty sure that uh, this video is going to end uh, basically. Oh crap. It's going to end as soon as we get to. Uh, the beach where we have to go back for the to retrieve for the timer and everything 
and probably just because of the way the time's already going, I'll uh, I'll just kind of do a rough cut in, cut out, even though it's not really a good place to uh, be ending and whatnot. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to make it there relatively soon. Ooh, did I just screw up? Yeah, I don't think I should have been fighting him here. Sometimes you get a great boost, and then sometimes you just get a terrible boost. Like that one time I got up to like 147 or something crazy like that. If you guys can't tell, I'm trying to uh, talk during that entire scene, because uh, I know it's incredibly loud and... system set up so that way whenever I uh, talk in the microphone it automatically lowers the volume of the game itself so I'm trying to give your ears and earphones just a little bit of rest Okay, I wasn't, I was kind of thinking maybe I didn't run off screen properly there. I love how they cut in for like a high res, uh, screen. For, for that basically to watch a car get crushed
was a nice little end to that uh, chase scene there. I didn't actually think we defeated it, but I guess a machine gun would uh, do that for you. So I guess I'll actually wait until we, uh, I'm pretty sure Cypher is going to take off and be his grumpy old self and then we got to walk back. But, uh, yeah, once that happens I'll finish the video and we can kind of go from there. Alright, so we've got our little party now. I still actually have no idea where we are. Anything that could uh, be upgraded. Alright, so I will end this video here. We will start part three. I'll actually just go straight to guard and I won't. I might uh, spend a little bit of time fighting some stuff here. We'll see what happens. But uh, I will see you guys in part three when we're back in garden for essentially the aftermath of the mission. I'll see you guys here.